Hi, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about how to open up new EDIUS 6 for 3D. So we're going to open up a new project right now. And first thing we I always do is I figure out where I'm going to put this new project. So let's go into my drive. I'll go into my working drive for the Eagle Festival. And I have my EDIUS project files. And I'm going to make a new folder and call it EDIUS 3D. And I'm going to give it a name, EDIUS 3D features. I shot this in 1920 by 1080 and we're going to work with the 30p so we're going to come down here and we're going to find our 2997 1920 by 1080 10 bit because I'm working with both 8 bit and 10 bit files and EDIUS now allows you to work with 10 bit files uh, and I'm going to click customize. This now brings up our project settings and we're going to enable the stereoscopic editing. I'm going to show you a second way to go ahead and do this. I'm going to change up my settings here real quick because I'm going to be working with two video audio tracks and click OK. And I'm going to change my mode here, my view. And I'm going to apply a one monitor layout so that all my bins and everything are on one monitor. I usually work with three screens, but for this, I'm going to show you the easy way to do things. First thing I'm going to do is show you that if you don't open up a project and enable stereoscopic editing, you can always go in to your project settings and change your current setting. And that'll give you the same area where you've got stereoscopic editing and all your project settings and you can make your changes there. But we've already gone, done that, so we're going to cancel and go in and start bringing in our folders. So let's go to the bin. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder. We're going to be working with several different cameras. So we're going to be working with the Panasonic AG3D, whoops, 3DA1. Attached to that and capturing in 10-bit, we have the Nano Flash 3D. We have the Sony TD-10E and we even have the GoPro 3D. So we're going to show you how you can create stereoscopic files and work with them on the timeline uh, with all of these different cameras.